Compared to conventional hip joints, sitting down under load is much easier and more controlled with the Helix 3D. In order to learn how to use the C-leg function of flexion under load, a chair should initially be placed with the backrest against a wall so that it cannot slide backwards. This gives the prosthesis wearer a feeling of security. The prosthesis wearer should stand as close in front of the chair as possible. The user puts full weight on the prosthesis and then lifts the prosthesis side in order to set the foot down a short distance ahead of the contralateral foot. The user then puts weight on both legs, flexes the hip and slowly sits down. During the exercise, the therapist should initially support the user. More weight is supported by the contralateral side than the prosthesis side with this method of sitting down. With the next version of sitting, the prosthesis should support approximately as much weight as the sound side. This relieves the sound leg and protects it against excessive strain. Touching the chair with the calf is useful to help secure the user's leg. Now the user should shift his or her weight back while the upper body is moved ahead and the buttocks back. The hands are moved to the armrests. This puts the body's center of gravity more in the middle so that the user does not fall backwards into the chair. The exercise gives the prosthesis wearer a feel for the stance phase damping feature of the C-leg. The prosthetist can adjust stance phase damping at the same time. When standing up, the polyurethane elements and the stance phase resistance settings counteract hip joint extension while inducing flexion in the knee joint. This makes the process of standing up very unfamiliar at first. However, in order to stand up safely from the beginning, the prosthetic foot should always be positioned some distance behind the contralateral side. The user can initially ensure proper hip extension with their hand. This should be practiced several times. The purpose of this exercise is to ensure that the prosthesis wearer can stand up safely in the first few days with the new system. However, the objective should ultimately be to stand up without this additional movement and start walking right away.